In today's video I have a vacuum cleaner of all things, Dyson, which is a what is it, V7 motorhead. And this was just given to me by someone to see if I wanted to try and get it going again. And it looks like the battery's faulty. What it does, I've tested a couple of things like pulling the filter off is something you can do. There's another filter there. Just make sure they're not plugged up. You can take this one off and just leave it off. But what it does is it seems to run all right in normal mode. I haven't seen for how long. But when we put it into the turbo mode, I think they call it. Where's the switch or max mode? It just flashes, I think, 10 flashes on the blue light and won't do anything. I don't think it's doing anything at the moment. And there it goes, it's flashing at me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, it must have missed one. But I think it's ten flashes, and I think you've got to reset it by plugging the charger back in. It gets the blue light up. I think if you take that out, uh, which mode are we in? Normal, I think. Seems to run all right. Put it in turbo mode. Goes like flash, or does that and then flashes. Smells a bit like dog this thing too. And we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you get twelve flashes the first time, I think, when you press the button again. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's it. So I went and forked out a whole thirty dollars for one off eBay. I'm a bit sus on these replacement batteries from eBay, but this one's actually I think got I think that's a twelve month warranty on it, at least six or twelve months, so hopefully this thing doesn't puff up and burst into flames or anything silly like a lot of these cheapo Chinese replacements do. But hopefully this one's okay. They seem to have sold quite a few of them. And I don't think there was anyone saying too much in a way of problems with them. That's the original battery pack. And I think we've got to undo these screws here. Dyson B8U AU MC whatever I guess is it. 21.6 volts. 26 volts, 9500 milliamps. I, th I can't remember what the original was rated at. Some of these looked a bit dodgy, these. 2000 milliamps, milliamp hours, and 44 watt hours. So they're saying this is a lot bigger battery, which, you know, you take that with a grain of salt off eBay because it's probably not, but you never know, maybe they've improved battery tech that much since they made it. Someone's actually put their Dongguan 10 way power company limited, private industrial state. Dongguan City, China. So they're actually putting their name to it, which is rare on Chinese stuff. So maybe it is an okay quality thing. Good to see their sort of branding stuff. I'm not sure if we just take those two screws out. I guess we'll have to find out. Can I take this? Take the um, piece of it. The the wand or whatever you want to call it, and the dust head thing. It's pretty dirty condition, but it was sitting in the garage for a while, I think. And I want to shake it. There's a bit of rubbish coming out of that. Not the cleanest things to work on, even though I did empty this out at some point. But there's always a bit hiding in there somewhere. Now, does that actually... Oh, we click there, do we? I get a feeling you might, have to, might be meant to take this hole. I did work out how to get this off. I mean, it's a Dyson, so it's going to be a bit weird, isn't it? Now do we press, we lift that up. How did I do it? Is that coming or did I have to do something with this other bit? No, I think it's just coming. So I think we remove that dust collector thing. Oh, I didn't shake it out because it's filthy. Give it a good thumping to get the worst of the dirt out of it. 
that's actually got a connection to it probably so it knows yeah, there's something in there probably so it knows you've actually got it connected oh yeah that was just to do with the dropping the bottom out of it I think that other piece and yeah it does stink a bit oh yeah it definitely smells like dog or something she did have a couple of big dogs so that's probably what this was used for so that could be fun trying to get that smell out of the thing I don't want it running and putting out dog smell as it goes but we can give it a good clean if I can get it running because that is quite potent so I'll take it we just there are some instructions with it let's see what have we got on the other one it is a piece that goes up in there so I've undone those screws I don't see any other screws oh, what up? there's, oh, there's going to be one up in there isn't there that would be it. Oh, here's another screw at the top of the handle. That's the good thing about having a new one, is I can see how to get the old one out. And bingo. We have one battery. I see the actual charge ports built into it, so that's interesting. But I did have a quick look online and everyone says it's a faulty battery causes this. Which wouldn't be surprised, it's the most likely thing to fail on them. So it's probably had plenty of use this thing. I'm not sure how old they are now, but I think they're over 10 years old, this model. Uh, I'm going to get that to slot in. All right, I'll put the other screws in first to be a good idea. Probably easier with the, that thing off. But I think they can also clogged up filters and stuff will cause similar issues when you go into that high speed mode, max mode, whatever it is. I don't think they're meant to actually run at max mode very often. I think it's more just when you get a little patch of whatever that won't come off. In the normal mode, won't vacuum up. You just hit the booster and suck up a bit of whatever and get rid of that bit of mess and then go back to normal mode from what I was seeing I did think I'd Dyson have all their manuals online there so it's easy enough to look up the manuals and stuff but that doesn't want to go in why doesn't that want to go in something's not sitting quite right or is that bit of plastic just a bit warped or the battery slightly out one or the other probably it's it just ever so slightly different but yeah, the vacuum itself may have warped a bit over time, who knows. I'm going to put that back on because I don't want dust going everywhere when I fire this thing up. Looks like the proper way to I should have took that other bit off is actually lift this bit up first. Then these little lugs have to drop down to where they're about to slot in. Yeah, hopefully. That's it. Oops, we've opened the end. Don't think that matters for now. Let's shut that. Let's got that in there. Get that closed. Now I think we're in business. Oh, we're in max, oh, we're in max mode. Here we are, and it runs. I think it's meant to do that when you really block it. It's meant to pulse. Yeah, it's got decent suction in normal mode. Not so sure what that's like with the bit attached to it, but that seems to have cured the issue. Let's try it. Yeah, it sucks stuff up. Let's try max mode. See if we some solder off the carpet. Yeah. Well, that works rather well. Yes, yeah, so in normal mode it's quite good. Oh, we've got a spring falling out. Go oh, away. About time I go to the bench to clean. Right, it's max mode. Not 
I'll suck up my phone parts there, but yeah, that seems to work. And yeah, no problem with running in either mode. It does smell a bit, so I might have to give this thing a good clean out. I might take all the bits apart and wash everything. So it looks like even that bit is kind of separate. Uh, is that what this other button does? I wonder if that releases that. I'll have to read the manual, I guess. So that comes off. God, look at the amount of rubbish I collected already. That's insane. So it certainly works. Shows how dirty the floor in here was. It is a workshop. Wow. Who knows, there's probably a few bits of cassette player and stuff I lost in there somewhere. And does it, what does this button do? Ooh. Well, it does something. Oh, I pressed the button. <laughs> what does this, does this red thing allow us? Oh yeah, this just comes off. So I guess that's the cyclone bit and you can take your filter out. Oh, excellent. I'm going to give that a good blast with a hose, I think. It's pretty dusty, so it probably needs a wash occasionally. Maybe I should just have a quick look online and see what they say about washing it. But if I clean that and this bit out, I think the rest of it should. It runs, runs without those bits. It sort of smells like carpet, so it's not too bad. At least it doesn't smell like dog. But I could get a new filter. Maybe I should replace the filters. That'll get rid of some of the smell out of it as well. So yeah, it doesn't seem like too bad a little unit. And we've got the other, what's the name, fitting? I guess I can put that back together and see if we can get that to run. What do we do with this? Slot that in there. Got to clean up after the vacuum cleaner. It's dropping so much stuff. Okay, so you get the, ah, oh, the bottom open. Not quite sure what that's about, but anyway, let's see if it can clean its own mess up. I'm doing like an Electrolux demonstration here now. Pour rubbish all over the poor lady's carpet and then vacuum it up for her. Dirty. I have to try the other bit because that's left a bit of more dirt on there than what was there before, so I'm not going to purchase that one. Oh, we're in max mode already. Yeah, I think that's a bit dirtier than it was, but anyway, it's probably getting pretty dirty, that stuff now, anyway. Oh, tight to get the fitting off. See, I think the idea you lift that bit up. Maybe that's the idea, do you just dump this bit back in and it drops to the bottom out? <laughs> Not sure, but I better get rid of all that muck before I do anything, and I'll give this thing a bit of a clean up. And yeah, try and get rid of that awful dog smell out of it. And hopefully I've got a good little vacuum for, yeah, about, I think about $30 delivered that battery. I just hope it doesn't start a fire or anything, but chances are it won't, but you've got to be a little careful with these Chinese specials. I guess I should put that bit on charge. Let's see what happens. At least the blue light's coming on. I'm not sure what that does when it's actually fully charged, or maybe that's telling me it is fully charged, it may be fully charged. Didn't think they normally sent lithium ion batteries around with a full charge in them, but Let's see how it goes, I guess, and that's the old one. I guess that can go in the battery recycling somewhere. Maybe I should pull it to bits and see what's in there. Can you get it apart? I guess anything comes apart if you try. Oh, there's a torx screw there. Which is also known as the right size flat blade will do it. That's, oh yeah, that's about the size. Look at that, see, I told you. Who needs a Torx driver? I've got them, but I just can't be bothered grabbing one when I can usually get them out that easy. But this is something else here. That's definitely coming apart. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> I wonder if there's something under one of these labels or something, because it's stuck down the bottom there somewhere no I cracked my old battery come on there's a clip or something in there you bastards you gotta be super careful you don't go stabbing screwdrivers into these things 
I guess I could put these labels on the other one and pretend it's a real battery. Claim the Dyson warranty on it. No, nothing there. What am I missing? Well, I'm gonna take the other one off too. Nothing. Well, Dyson didn't do any sneakies under there. It's got to be a clip here somewhere. Oh, there is a bit of it. Was there a bit of a clip there? It's a bit of something under there. Oh yeah, I can see there's a little depression there. There's a little... looks like a clip. So if there's a couple there, there's probably a couple... Oh, you can spot them. There's a depression there, depression there. I've just been flicking that the wrong way, haven't I? Yeah, that's it. Where the depressions are is where you clip it. And of course, some of them are trying to reattach. That's simple enough when you look at it. And there's a switch there. What did I just put? What is that thing? Oh, is that some sort of sensor? Whether the thing is in the unit? Probably something like that. We've got a socket. That might be worth saving. If I can get it out of there. Probably clip in as well. Try not to short the bloody thing out while you're doing it. I guess I should try and get the power out of this battery too, discharge it. Yeah, there's a clip in there. So it's clipped in, I think. But yeah, it wouldn't be hard to short that out. But if it's screwed over as I'm messing around. Switch, we've got a circuit board, two charged terminals in there well actually they're the battery terminals aren't they a couple of battery terminals down there again watch not to short the things out because it wouldn't be hard to do I assume this will allow something to come out ah, it's gonna suddenly go isn't it ah, yeah it's suddenly gonna go they always do Oh my god, it's got a whole 286 computer built in here just about. What's this thing on the end? Is that a fuse or something? Could be. Yeah, a couple of fairly large chips, I guess. A big diode or some cap or something in there. That goes, your terminal's going into the batteries. So that's the part that's telling you that it doesn't want to work. Is that the blue LED there, maybe? Because, yeah, there's the lens bit here. That would be the blue LED little surface mount thing down there. And that's basically it. We can unsolder the board for now, I guess. But what are these? These 1800 type 1865 maybe batteries. LG AAHD 2C1865. Hmm, so you could repack them, I guess, if you really wanted to. That sort of thing, if you had a spot welder to yeah, weld the terminals on. Used to be a lady in town that did that. Although I think someone did say she's still operating out of somewhere. They just get the battery, stick it in the spot welder and weld right through it because it's only a low resistance. And attach the tabs that way. Oh, there's another tab here. Oh, hang on, they're the main tabs. Oh, so what do we got here? We've got that. Oh, and then there. Oh, okay. So that battery and that battery are in series, back into the board, out. Just a single battery on the board. That battery then goes to where? That one I said, no. Oh, back. So they're zigzagging all over the place and they're tapped into at multiple points. That's the other. So they've got the bigger... So the bigger connections are the end ones, as you'd expect. That's the full voltage of the battery pack. These intermediate ones that must be monitoring the cells, I'm guessing. I reckon they're just monitoring because they're welded in over almost every single cell. So you've got the first cell. Yeah, that, that's... Uh, we've got across the first cell. Or across the second cell. 
and the third cell, fourth cell to there, fifth cell, and yeah, that is sixth cell. So they basically monitor every single battery, so that's probably why this thing has decided to go into fault mode. Some, one of these cells is dead. I wonder if I can measure anything interesting. Probably not, but... Let's have a look. We have four volts. Then we should be... Oh, we can go across that one anyway, I think. Oh, we're at four volts. That's that battery pack. Yeah, then that's the next one. 3.99 that's the next one 3.95 and then we've got the, I guess we're going to keep getting 4 volts all the way up the ladder so that's the end one that is the next one that joins to there that's the next one yeah 4 volts I guess I wonder if we could hook it in and see it under the load that's a bit difficult that is what you need to see is what they drop to under load I guess so that's the other end of that one yeah that one's a little lower I think 3.95 3.99 the rest of them are right on 4 volts so maybe we've got a dud cell there or a weak one or whatever well, I just took it outside, emptied out the dust, took off the filters, gave it a bit of a bang. And I noticed it didn't smell as bad of dog or anything without the filters on. So I took that one off, it was the same, but it's this filter here. And yeah, if I take it out, it smells like dog. So if you get any smells out of these things, it makes sense. That's probably the most, the first filter that cops everything. So I might have a look and see what it costs to replace both of them, probably wouldn't hurt, but that has definitely got a smell to it. Well, I found out this smells a bit more infused in this thing than I thought when I give it a bit of a clean up. So I've actually pulled this seal off here and given that a clean, cleaned in all around there, cleaned the slot under there where this door fits in. And now I just realise there's a more of a smell in here, so I've taken one little screw out under there, the end of my finger there, and I'm just getting this part out. It looks like if you poke a screwdriver down where that little clip bit is there and press and probably have to do the same on the other side you can actually get this part out hopefully or not like that, I'm going to have to squeeze let's see the long flat side is down there does that just squeeze in there it pulled out so I assume it kind of squeezes in there somehow and we've got to get under this other bit easiest thing to get in there that's it uh, what's going on here okay that goes under there and then we're gonna get this bottom bit I think I should have done that the other way around oh no it'll fit being careful not to rip it of course screwdriver is probably not the ideal tool that fit under something there? It does fit under a bit of plastic there, I think. Yeah, that's it. Feels like it's grabbing hold of something a bit where it shouldn't. It's definitely not fitting back normally. What haven't I done right? And it pulls in under there at the bottom. I don't think that's gone in. Kind of done. Ah, now here it goes. You gotta get it right into this bottom bit. I think it wasn't fully pushed in. Yeah, that's it, it should pull right in. Yeah, that's that's the key. I thought it was in the right spot, but it's not quite. You gotta yeah, pull it out and push it down sort of thing. It should find its way in there. That's better, so that should come right into that flush there. I don't know that we got it at the top there. Oh, that's got a couple of little things holding it out, is that what that's doing? Yeah, 
Uh, that's it, that's got it in. Yeah, so the, the outer lip there should be pretty flush with the plastic. That's better. That lid is a little off. Yeah, slight smell still. Mind you, I haven't cleaned out the end. Oh, I've got to put a screw back in there too. This one was quite loose, I just did it with a flat blade screwdriver. No way, door. Put this bit back on, which is that little bit of slots in there, and a little clippy bit that clips over. Oh, get in there. That's it. That's our little releasing. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a lot better than it was. A lot less odour in there. And it should look a bit better without all this sort of dirt around the edges and stuff. It does actually look more like new again, which is what we want. I might just clean out the inside. This is somewhat dirty. It's got a kind of deflector, red deflector thing in there. Another screw, I can't tell if that's a screw or... No, I don't think it is. I thought the head might have been filled in. Well, maybe it is. I think there's a screw in there with the head filled up with dust. Yeah, that's feeling like one. Oh, maybe that's what released the red thing. That's what you had to undo, I reckon. That would have been what released our... Red, but that's a different size screw to the other one, if I'm not mistaken. What was that? Yeah, that's the same screwdriver I used, I think. It's either a lot tighter or it's a different size. That makes sense now. At least I can see the thing, because before I couldn't even see that it was a screw. Oh, that's what that connector probably goes to. Does that go to the um, the head unit, the floor cleaner? That's probably what it's for. Because I can see a couple of connections here by the look of it. Probably tells it what mode it's in or something, what, what's connected to it. So yeah, quite a job in the end. And I haven't even cleaned this bit yet. I might just quickly go over the outside of it for now. I was thinking of giving that a wash. I'll clean this filter thing off a bit, this screen. This has got another rubber seal on it by the look of it. Yeah, there's definitely a rubber seal there around this edge here so it could probably be removed and cleaned or then again it seems to be attached pretty well I won't have to get all the dust out of this bit because you can already see the plastic's been scraping and stuff which makes it a bit tighter to slide up and down It'll start eating into the plastic and damaging it a bit, making it hard to use. Mm, yeah, something's still smelly there. Yeah, well just cleaning it has made it definitely smell a lot better even though that's still got that old filter in there. Turns out that wasn't all of the smell. Even though it seemed to be alright without that in there. And just giving this cyclone part a good bash, I've cleaned the, the mesh with the toothbrush. There's still stuff coming out of it. So it must be a bit of rubbish up in there somewhere. But yeah, things are dropping out still. So I'll probably take a little bit of work to get it completely clean. 
actually that's where it gets a bit smellier is when you're on the fast mode I think the idea of this is you just lift this bit up and keep going and then the bottom opens yeah and a whole ton of dust just fell out of that given that I completely cleaned the thing I thought so there must be some up in that cyclone bit somewhere that's how dirty it's looking inside after I dumped the bit out so I cleaned every bit I could get to and then just close it yeah we put this down then shut that going in the oh it's in thingo mode is it uh oh we've killed it <laughs> is the battery now flat uh oh i've broken it shouldn't have built that it built the crap out of it i guess so i'm not sure if that's because of something i just did or if the battery's finally died it probably has well maybe the old faults returned running again but I reckon there's a whole lot of dust up in this bit somewhere but a good thumping should have got a lot of that loose you can't really see there's just lots of little slots going down there I guess these little bits is where it sucks down and then it cyclones around in the bottom there because I think, yeah, the dust comes up in... Oh, does it come into there? Where does it come? Oh, no, it comes... No, I think the air comes up into this bit. Then it gets sucked up and out the hole here, through the filter, and back in these bits that go back down. So the dust must have been somewhere up in that bit. And this bit you can see up under there. I think that's got the worst of the dust out of there. back in pulsing mode so that might mean we're getting flat but anyway hopefully that is the end of it it doesn't stink anywhere near as much as it did I'll give that another clean out to try and get that dust out of there some of it's stuck in a bit of cleaner that was still in there looks a lot better than it did as an added bonus now all that stuff's clean and around the seal there and bits and pieces makes a lot of difference it looked rather beaten up when I got it and I'll get that a charge up and give it a good run, but I think that'll get that all going. So thanks for watching.